All right, uh, we're here with Michael Wilford of Twisted Pixel, and you are showing off um, Misplosion Man on the iPad. That's right. Now this is, uh, how far along is this build? Uh, so we've spent about, about eight months on this so far, just kind of mostly building out the technology. Uh, bringing the Beard engine over to you know work on mobile devices, and um, we're going to be spending the next several months working on this. We have a lot of things planned for for making this like a you know uh, a special game for mobile. Like it's not just going to be a port of the Xbox version. Which right now this is just kind of a proof of concept, bringing over one of the levels from the Xbox version. So uh, just to give you an idea of what it's going to be like. Now, can you explain? Uh, I played it a little earlier. You use uh, you slide on the left hand side to right. move. Yeah, so we do the the virtual thumbstick thing, uh, which isn't always awesome in mobile games. Uh, but in Miss Bluish Man, it's it's a lot easier because you only really care about left and right. Up and down doesn't even matter. So right. you just put your thumb down anywhere, and you get these arrows, and then you just tap anywhere to explode. So because our game is like super kind of easy on the Xbox controller, every button literally is explode. Uh, it actually translates pretty well to uh, to uh, the touch screen. Right. Now, um, you were saying that you think you're going to be working on a, a version for the uh, Retina screen for the iPad 3, the new iPad, I mean? Yeah, so the goal with this project is we want to make uh, the most beautiful platformer on mobile devices. So, uh, we, in the interest of doing that, we are going to make a, basically a version of the game that is highly optimized for the new iPad. Um, taking advantage of like all the awesome graphics and and uh, extra memory, and I just died. I was about to say, I want to see, because <laughs> I died about 50 times trying to do this last level. So you have to go across this glass floor, trigger that switch, fall down without dying. Oh, you the died. The pressure's on. The pressure's on. Um, yeah, this is, a, it's a very pretty game. I mean, especially for it being essentially a port right now. Yeah, what's interesting is like, we can bring over the, uh, the content from the Xbox version. It's so fascinating to me that mobile devices now are becoming as powerful as like consoles and, and high end, what you were high end PCs. So, you know, what was an ambitious project on Xbox 360, uh, we can now bring that content over on like the new iPad. It's pretty, pretty cool. I'm just going to die a whole lot if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I just want to make sure you understand that you can die. It's a feature we have. Yes, to you want to really stress that yeah. point. Um, the, how does this feel? Have you have you messed around with any ports on the iPhone yet? Uh, so this is our first project on on mobile ever. So uh, it's it's about time I think for us to, to do it. Uh, I actually wish we would have done it years ago, uh, but you know we were always so focused on Xbox. Um, so now we actually have like time and, and uh, manpower to, to do this. So we're actually working with the the Iron Galaxy guys out of Chicago, who are working on Reketeer as well right now for Connect. Oh right, uh, okay. so they're they're doing the uh, the engineering and stuff with us on, on this. And uh, do you? I, the reason I ask about the iPhone, I'm just curious. Um, that's it. I'm just curious uh, how you think the controls will feel. I mean, this you can really see what's going on because you've got the iPad. Are you worried that once you get thumbs on, on top of an iPhone on iPhone screen, you'll have issues? Yeah, the smaller screen is something we do, we're doing a lot of testing on. It's actually not that bad. The bigger problem is is um, basically the camera. Like when this, the iPhone screen is so much smaller, if the camera pulls back, she becomes too, too tiny. So we're just gonna have to do a lot of camera work and be smart about, right, right. You know, we might have to do some custom camera work based on iPhone versus iPad, just to make sure she's not too tiny. I gotcha, cool. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank I appreciate you. it. Yeah, thanks, Brian. Take care.